The Dallas Cowboys were seen as true Super Bowl contenders coming into the 2020 NFL season, but that idea was very short-lived. The Cowboys struggled early in the season, going 1-3 with their only win coming in a one-point victory over the Atlanta Falcons, who went on to start the year 0-5 and then fired their head coach. Things only got worse for Dallas in Week 5, though, when Dak Prescott went down with a compound ankle fracture and dislocation. 2020 has been a mess since the start for Mike McCarthy and company, and the disappointment runs deep in Dallas. First, I'd like to acknowledge that the majority of the people who watch our videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Help us out by subscribing and joining us on our way to 100k because it's coming fast and you don't want to miss your opportunity to enlist in the JD Army. The Dallas Cowboys were one of the hottest topics going into the 2020 NFL season. The team was set to be on a fast track to a Super Bowl contender under new head coach Mike McCarthy after the franchise fired Jason Garrett after nine plus seasons. McCarthy was set to bring better coaching to Dallas and help Dak Prescott and company find their stride. As we know, that didn't happen. Yes, Prescott was hurt in week four, but even before that, things in Dallas were grim. The roster certainly has talent on paper. The wide receiver core of Amari Cooper, Michael Gallup, and CeeDee Lamb is incredible, and you can't forget Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. On the defense, linebackers Jalen Smith and Leighton Vander Esch lead the way on a defense that also features defensive end Demarcus Lawrence. The reality, though, is that the Cowboys have a lot of problems on defense, and it hasn't helped having to let go of key players like cornerback Byron Jones because they have to pay players on offense. The defense has been awful, and has arguably been the biggest issue for the Cowboys over the Prescott injury. The Cowboys' dream of a Super Bowl quickly went south in Week 1 in a close 20-17 loss to the Los Angeles Rams. The defense gave up 422 yards to start the year, and the offense struggled on third down, going just 3-12. of 12. In Week 2, the Atlanta Falcons found themselves up 20-12 nothing after the first half, but the Falcons did what they do best and blew the lead. The Cowboys managed to pull out a close victory 40-39. to When a team puts up 40 points in a single game, there should be no reason why the contest is close. That wasn't the case against the Falcons, and it wasn't in games to follow. In a premier Week 3 matchup against the Seattle Seahawks, the Cowboys offense was reeling as Dak Prescott threw for 472 yards and 3 touchdowns, but 2 interceptions and poor defense plagued Dallas in a 38-31 to loss. After great play, Prescott managed to improve on his numbers the following week against the Cleveland Browns. Prescott went off for 502 yards and four touchdowns to a single interception. The offense played great and scored 38 points, but they lost 49 to 38. I don't know how you can justify blaming a loss on Prescott in a game where he passed for over 500 yards and his defense almost gave up a 50 bomb. However, a lot of mainstream media still found a way to. Despite the Cowboys' struggles, there was was still the hope that they'd be able to turn it around and emerge as the top team in a weak NFC East. That hope came to a close in Week 5, when in a close 37-34 win, Prescott went down with a compound ankle fracture and dislocation. It was a tough moment to watch, as not only did the Dallas playoff chances disappear, but a good guy on a franchise tag goes down. Regardless of what you think of Prescott as a player, the reality is Dak's a good guy, and it really sucks to see anyone in that spot. From there, the Dallas playoff chances relied in the hands of the the Red Rocket, Andy Dalton. Not great. In his first start, Dalton passed for 266 yards and a touchdown to two interceptions. Dallas only managed to score 10 points against the Arizona Cardinals in a 38-10 loss. Dallas then hit rock bottom the next week against Washington. Personally, as a Washington fan, I enjoyed the game though. Washington is far from a good team, I know that firsthand, but they had their way in a huge 25-3 victory over Dallas. While down 22-3 and after tossing an interception, Dalton ended up leaving the game injured after a cheap shot by linebacker John Bostic. It was another tough Cowboys injury to watch. You hate to see anybody go down like that. After losing two quarterbacks in three weeks, the Cowboys had to put their faith in Ben DiNucci, a seventh round rookie out of James Madison. I actually got to talk to DiNucci while he was playing at JMU when I covered games for my whole job. DiNucci and the Cowboys failed to score a single touchdown against the rival Philadelphia Eagles in a 23-9 loss. Ahead of their week nine bout against the undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers, the Cowboys decided that DiNucci wasn't the right option. The battle for the starting position 
position came down to longtime Cowboys backup Cooper Rush and former AAF star Garrett Gilbert. The job came down to the wire before McCarthy named Gilbert the starter. Gilbert surprised a lot of people when he put up the best performance of any Dallas quarterback since Prescott went down. Gilbert passed for 243 yards and a touchdown to an interception. The game was the most promising the Cowboys have looked in quite some time, and they even managed to take a 19-9 lead into the fourth quarter. The wheels fell off though, and the better team prevailed as the Steelers behind Ben Roethlisberger took the game 24-19 after a late Eric Ebron game-winning touchdown. Dallas is in a tough spot when it comes to the quarterback position. Prescott isn't coming back this season, but Dalton will likely be back after their upcoming bye week. He did end up missing time with a concussion, but was unable to play against Pittsburgh due to a positive COVID-19 test. It is unlikely the Cowboys decide to roll with Danucci, Gilbert, or Rush over Dalton, but certainly is possible due to the Red Rocket's struggles when he was starting. From devastating injuries all the way to COVID-19, the 2020 NFL season has been an absolute mess for Dallas. The Cowboys are well aware where they stand among the league and made it clear when, ahead of the trade deadline, they shipped off defensive end Everson Griffin to the Detroit Lions in exchange for a conditional sixth round pick. Dallas is likely already looking ahead to the 2021 NFL Draft where they could take a quarterback or await the return of Prescott. It's going to be a bad rush to the season, but hey, look at the bright side, Cowboys fans. You can't lose this week. Have a good bye. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more JD. We read all of our DMs and love hearing what y'all have to say.